how, how do you come up with your skits? Is, is it like a, just an everyday thing, just constant writing or what? Yeah, I write my skits. Like, I'm, I got a messed up mind, so I think of stupid stuff all the time, and I just film it, and people just love it. Are any of these skits like stuff that actually happened to yes. you? Like, yeah. I can't tell you which ones, but come on, yeah. man, ah, Robbie, come on, come on, man. I can't man. tell you, I'm man. Sorry, I can't tell you. Okay, uh, okay, like this is one skit. I give you this one. This one skit. This really didn't happen, but I was like my worst fear. So it was like this skit where I ate the groceries and then she farted and poop came on my you face. Booty on your face. Yeah, yeah. I seen that. But it came from real. This came from a true story. That's all I'm gonna give y'all. But so it came somebody booped on your face. No, no, somebody didn't boop on my face, but it was damn near close, fam. Like. Like, and I ain't gonna say no names. But, Somebody know. sharted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe reach her face, but it sharted. She sharted. Uh, so what was your okay? So when she sharted, what was your first uh, like thought process like of that? Like I, I never I did that before. I couldn't right? process it. I was just like disgusted. Yeah, I was just like how mad did you get? I couldn't. I didn't get mad. I was just like I just wanted to go home. That's all I said. I just <laughs> I'm just really. I felt like you know I felt like a female that just like, had a bad day. I was like I just I just want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home right now. <laughs> so, so where did that come from? Is that, is that the situation where I got to go because she pulled oh, it on your face? Actually, no. The gotta go, um, my, like my um slogan or whatever. Uh, I did it in one skit, and everybody just loved it. Keith, um, and I did it with my homeboy WTF DJ, and we did it, and then everybody just loved it. Say, do that again, and I was like, okay, I'll do it again, and we did it again and again and again, and it just went viral. Wow, for real. For real. So what's next? So, I mean, where do you see yourself in like in five years? Where are you taking this? This, uh, whole, this whole thing. Movies. Mm. I want to be like Quinn Tarantino, Spike Lee, Tyler Perry. I want to be like all of them. Like for real, for real. So have you shot some movies? Yeah, I just got done. I'm a little tired. We just had a seven day shoot, nonstop, um, shooting this movie called Trunk. Um, nice. It's about how. Um, oh, I'm trying to give it. Trying to tell y'all what it's about without giving away. It's about uh, a alcoholic wife or ex alcoholic wife. Got um, kidnapped. Somebody hired to kidnap her, and she's cheating on her husband. So mm. she just, was a freak, pretty much. Okay. Nah, I'm just like nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and it's also starring um, Courtney on Hurt Bay. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, she's um, she's a good main, old actor. Yeah, no, Wonderful. she's magnificent. She's, yeah, she's a great actor, and um, she's like the star role in there. And everybody helped me out. Like shout out to West, shout out to Tara West, uh, shout out to uh, Chloe. Well, shout out to Zach. He shot it. He helped me shot it. Um, shoot it, shoot it, yeah. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Help tired. me shoot it. Yeah, shot like it. and then as soon as we imported all the footage, man, and everybody was like, "You should just take a break." I was just like, "Nah, I'm finna start. Gotta editing. keep going. I'm finna start editing." So is this like a? Is it a short or is it like a? It's full a feature length? film. It's, okay, it's a feature film. Is I wrote it, I directed it, um, I'm editing it, <laughs> um, producing it. I was the boom mic a couple of days. Like, yeah, it was it was crazy. So I gotta definitely salute you, man. You know what I'm saying? Just for the be so ambitious. You know what I'm saying? And just, just going to get it. So look, so like, so what made you what inspired you to make like start making funny videos? Like, would you think that was like one of the things that I was depressed. I'm not even gonna okay. lie, I was depressed. Um well, a little backstory, I had cancer. Okay. So like going through that. Well, I'm, you're looking good now, brother. I appreciate it. Okay. Appreciate it. Um I just, you know, I just, like, thought of the world differently. So I was just like, you know, just F it on some stuff. And then I just started doing stupid stuff. And people just loved it. So. <laughs> that's dope. I mean, that's inspiration as as well. Like, so, like, I'm seeing, like, like your family's in, involved. And, yeah, and yeah. Just now. Like, well, tell me about that. Yeah, my main supporter, well, she's not with us at the moment, but her name was Mary Dean. She mm. supported me through thick and thin, like, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, from, like, the craziest skits, I would run it by her. And she would give me advice like, nah, you know, you should make her like, you know, do this and that. I'm like, you know, like talking to my auntie. She's like, like talking about sex scenes. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like that. Did you feel uncomfortable a little bit? A little bit, but it was cool. Like she was my best friend. You know what I'm saying? And then my dad, he always supported me. So that, did you ever talk to him about eating booty and then pooping? <laughs> He saw it. So and like, what your dad say? He just ignored. Did he say it happened he, to me he, before, he, son? No, nah, he ignored those parts. <laughs> he put his hand on your shoulder like it's okay, son. <laughs> Every man goes through this. Nah, nah. He just he really supports me. Like he'll just be laughing. He'll show all his business partners. That's the embarrassing part. Like the, all, all the all the girls, all the girls get crazy DMs and stuff when they you know when they popping on Instagram. Do you get any crazy DMs? Yeah, I get crazy DMs. What's like, the craziest DM? Yeah, craziest. Yeah. 
Come on, you say it. You can cuss. Go ahead. Okay, shit. I got a dick. <laughs> I got a dick pic. Hey, yo. With somebody that was nutting and video. It was like a video, and I was just like, fuck. Uh, okay. Um, Decline, right? <laughs> so, um, I got one. It was, it was, it was one funny. So I, I ain't gonna lie. I was sliding in somebody DM just a little bit, but it was like a year ago. This was before I was popping. So a dude hit me up, said, "Hey, you slid in my girl DMs, and you know I don't like that." I'm like, "Who?" I'm looking like, "Who? Who? Who I slid?" And he was like, "This such and such at her." So I was like, "Oh," I was like, "That was a year ago," and I'm I'm humble. So I'm like, "But." Good, like you know, I don't want no, no disrespect. Beef. Yeah, no disrespect. And he was like, "All right, cool. Can you give me a shout out?" And <laughs> I was just like, you know, like, nah, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm good, fam. But appreciate it. You know, like, it's crazy. People are weird, but I do love my fans. That's the only. That's one of the main things that keep me going. Like when people notice you, like that's crazy. Like when people notice you on the street, like, oh, keep it going, keep it going. I love your videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, 